I reckon that pastor lady, Paula White, didn't like too much when I cited 1 Corinthians 14, which says that uh, women aren't allowed to speak in church, and if they have any questions, they're supposed to ask their husband after church. Um, she probably didn't like it too much because she's in charge of a mega church, and she's a very famous mega church pastor. And um, what I'll tell her is, I don't think she's necessarily a conventional pastor, and I ain't got a problem with you being a pastor. I think it's important that we have women that are leading in uh, spiritual ventures. And um, if you wanted to come join my side, which means that uh, I, I, my, my plan is to create uh, a cult of Jesus, which is, which is basically a Christian church. And it's, it's a very accepting version of, of Christianity, which allows us to not accept every single thing in the Bible. For example, we don't accept that gay people are abominations. Uh, we don't accept that women aren't allowed to speak in church. Uh, we, uh, we don't agree with a lot of the Bible, um, but we, we agree with a lot of it at the same time. So um, Paula White could still be a pastor, and she would be a pastor in the cult of Jesus. And if she's a part of that cult, then she'd be a part of... Uh, she'd be one branch of paganism, which means um, that everyone else can have different branches. Like some people want to follow Zeus, and they'd have the cult of Zeus. And then there's like the cult of Athena Aphrodite. And that's actually a sex cult. That's for, that's for sex. So you can't actually join that cult. But you can be an admirer of the cult of Athena Aphrodite. Um, a lot of people admire that cult. Um, there's the cult of Triptolemus, which is the farming cult. It's for people who like farming and such. Um, there's the cult of Dionysus that's for people that really like drinking a lot um, but if you're part of the cult of Jesus then you can still say you're Christian you're the ones that are right everyone's fine with that because you're just one of the groups and so my plan is I want everyone to be at peace with each other and that's why I'm bringing back uh, idolatry but um, this isn't a very good way to pitch to Paula White um, I think what I'm actually trying to say is uh, why, why do you have to believe that specific way that you believe? Um, I, I, I don't understand. Um, because obviously you don't accept the Bible for what it is because 1 Corinthians isn't even a disputed text. Everyone knows that Paul wrote it. It, it meets his, his style exactly. So, um, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you consider Paul as an authoritative writer and he's the one that said it. All right, so... Um, Good news, Paula Watt. If you join the cult of Jesus, then you get to find out who Jesus is. Because, you know, we're clones, right? Um, I'm a clone of a man that was called Satan once, and I am a clone, clone of a man that was called John once, and I'm the one whom Jesus loved, probably, but you never really know. Uh, I consider myself a clone of Benjamin Franklin, Leonardo da Vinci, George Monk, uh, and some other folks. But um, I think... What I'm trying to say is, if you want to know who the clone of Jesus is, I think he's the lead singer of the band Wide Awake. You can look him up on the internet. Uh, their first, I think they have an album called Bigger Than Ourselves. It's a really good album. And they have some other good albums too. But uh, I think you really like him. He, he was a Christian artist back in the day. I don't know what's happened to him now. His name's Scott. So um, yeah, that's Jesus. Um, I'm planning on putting him in charge of Jerusalem because I don't really want to deal with the religious people. Personally, I just want to hang out on a beach somewhere beautiful uh, with my wife, who I hope to be, uh, I hope it'll be uh, Miley Cyrus. So, yeah, uh, Paula White should join, join my presidential campaign. She should become a preacher in the cult of Jesus, and uh, she could teach all the same stuff, and I won't judge her.